Hi, I'm Kizzy Cox and this is What's the 411, bringing you the latest in entertainment news, sports and lifestyle. This year the New York African Film Festival is celebrating its 20th anniversary and it's doing so by looking back to its roots with a tribute to Usman Sembane, the father of African cinema, and also looking forward to a whole new set of filmmakers bringing the African experience to the big screen. Ms. Bonetti, it is such a pleasure to meet you and this is 20 years, like what does it feel like? Um, it feels like one long day, <laughs> actually, but it's, it's, we're just so happy to make it to this point, knowing the challenges and also the opportunities we look forward to. And what is most important, what keeps us going is that we have amazing filmmakers who keep presenting, you know, the uh, new works and the production has increased over the 20 year period. And how could we not continue if they keep providing the material? And of course, we've built audiences and people have come to expect um, the African Film, New York African Film Festival and the other ancillary programs we do year round. So we're, we're very pleased with our achievements and um, also that as a collective, the community has embraced this as their own, yes. So I know the motto is looking back, looking forward. Yes. I mean, what role did Usman Sembane have on you and your decision to start a New York African Film Festival? It all started with him because he told the story like no one else and it was our opportunity to, through the cinema, because for so long, um, opinions formed about Africa and African people were based on images people saw, which we had no control over. And here was this body of work, starting with Semben, who was just put a mirror to our face and the world. And for us, that Semben is, is, is my hero. And he graced us with his presence three times during the course of the 20 years of this festival. So he's, you know, he's, he's legacy looms large. Yeah. I see you smiling really big when you talk about him, so I can understand he has like a good reflection. No prisoners, my goodness. Even when he was putting your head on the chopping block, you were laughing because he was so true what he said and why your head was on the chopping block, you know? <laughs> That's a good way to say it. Yeah. Uh, and so in terms of looking forward, what do viewers have to look forward to at this festival? I think the fact that we have um, these pillars of Semben, Abderrahman, Siseko, Musa Toure, Oswald, but in between, this next generation that is so radical, that but also uh, still continuing the discussion of Semben, and um, and they, for me, what is important about this generation is that they found a way to make these images and these their films being seen on the continent, and that was a rarity 20 years ago. So it's 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 a sort of trade winds, you know. There's a conversation going on on the continent and in the diaspora. It's no longer one-sided, and so that the next 20 years going forward. I think we're going to have, and then there are all these movie stars coming from the continent. In fact, some students who went on a trip from NYU went to South Africa, and these um, South Africans who are, were part of a group, um, stars in a film, uh, in a series called Izo, Izo, uh, where um, saw these kids bum rushing them and they ran away. It's usually the reverse, but here we're Americans going. Uh, going to Africa and you know stalking African movie stars it was quite funny that's amazing yeah. so I mean you touched upon a little bit already yeah. but what is the next 20 years going to be like for the New York African Film Festival what do you have in store ah uh, I mean I think for me as well it's how would you say it's that um, surprise that element of surprise and curiosity that will keep us going but what I do know is that there's a lot happening and um, so I don't think we'll ever um, lack for material and I hope that we um, do permeate, you know, that our presence not only exists within the uh, United States but Latin America and um, the rest of the world, you know, which we're already doing bit by bit but I, and also eventually that I find someone who's crazier than me to take over because there's but so much energy I have to do this, yes. So are you taking the film festival worldwide? Are you traveling with it? Do you have any plans do, to do that? We do, we do, we do um, programs, offshoots of the festival around the world. We have um, other series, a national traveling series. We have um, outdoor summer series where we incorporate other elements of, of um, 
um, African culture, dance, drum, needle arts, double dutch, storytelling, food. So people have a, the gamut, you know, yeah, experience, yes. Well, congratulations on 20 years and thank you for talking with us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Okay. okay.